Greg, it's great to have you at Celtic. Welcome along to the club. How do you feel? <sighs> Delighted. It's been a, on a, a world one of a day, but no, it's just I'm um, over the moon to be here and thankful it's over the line. The big, uh, the big sigh shows the, the relief that you must be feeling. Oh, 100%. As soon as I knew of the interest, I was desperate to come. So, uh, no, it's been a great day, certainly, now that it's done. So, I'm, no, I'm over the moon. Yeah, because a lot of players, if they come from different countries, they maybe don't, you know, they haven't been here and seen the, you know, the success. They maybe don't understand the club. But, of course, you're a Scottish internationalist. You've played for Kilmarnock for a number of years, over 100 games for them. You clearly know the size of Celtic. Oh, it's a massive club. Everyone knows that. It's... Um, I'm here to win trophies, so that's as simple as that. I'm, uh, you know, I just can't wait to hopefully be a part of it. You've been training with Scotland today and you've made the, the whirlwind journey through from Edinburgh here. Is it a case of just kind of pinching yourself? Yeah, definitely. Um, thankfully, I'm here now and uh, it's hopefully over the line and that's us um, a Celtic player. So no, I'm pinching myself, but I'm definitely my over the moon. We're, uh, we're used to having Scottish left-backs at the club, but um, I suppose it's fair to say that if you do half as well as the most recent Scottish left-back, the fans are going to love you. Absolutely, Cairn's done amazing. And um, yeah, we'll do a got a massive move to well. Arsenal, I'm sure he'll be over yeah. the moon, but I'm not going to compare myself to Cairn. It's probably not fair on him, certainly, or myself. So now I'm here, and I'm hopefully going to impress the fans and uh, impress the manager and get out again. You've been obviously watching Celtic over the last few years and all the domestic success that, that we've had at this club, and now... I presume you're hoping to be a part of more. 100%. Um, a club this size wants to win trophies, and uh, they have done the last few years, and uh, I'm hoping to become and be part of more trophies. Yeah, I mean, what do you make of the squad itself? Obviously, you knew, know a few of the boys through the, the Scotland setup. Uh, yeah, exactly. As you touched on there, um, Cal and Ryan and James have been away just now, so now they've been asking me and seeing what's happening. But no, it's, uh, I'm just can't wait to be part of the boys. Now to say I'm a Celtic player, that's a dream come true. So I'm over the moon. Yeah, and of course the international break now. So I suppose it gives you a bit of time to to get used to the fact you're a Celtic player before you have to go into the dressing room. Oh yeah, and we've got a massive games coming in Friday and Monday against Russia and Belgium. So now we know our job is uh, with Scotland to hopefully get points on the table and see if we can uh, qualify with them. But yeah, absolutely. I think we'll be back in next Tuesday and see what happens then. Of course, the pressure of being a professional footballer is there regardless of what club you're at, but, but you'll know as well as anyone the demands that the fans place on the, the, the Celtic games and the Celtic scores. Of course, um, as you say, a footballer, you want to win games and it's no different here. They want to win every game. So um, I'm looking forward to that pressure. It'll um, hopefully bring the best out of myself. And uh, as you say, uh, yeah, massive honour. Well, you can, you can relax. The relief <laughs> is there. You're here, you're a Celtic player. Greg, great to have you. Thanks very much. Cheers.